Madam Speaker, after eight years, this Prime Minister is not worth the cost. After eight years, he's not worth the crime. After eight years, he's not worth the cost of crime. Crime is costly because after eight years of this Prime Minister, we're paying a billion dollars in higher insurance premiums to pay for the stolen cars. That adds, in Ontario, $120 to the insurance bill of every family that has a car. Correct. Let me tell you the story that was in the CTV on December the 27th. A 26-year-old man faces a slew of charges after police arrested him twice in less than six hours. Um, for alleged crimes in Brantford and Innisfil. Police say that he, he, he was caught stealing a car at 11 p.m. on Sunday night. They arrested and released him, and then he was arrested at 4.30 a.m. the very next morning, five hours after his last crime. This is the new normal after eight years of the Prime Minister and his bill, catch and release bill C-75 that forced police to arrest the same 40 offenders 6,000 times in Vancouver and that contributed to a 300% increase in auto theft in Toronto, 100% in Ottawa and Montreal, over 100% in New Brunswick, crime, chaos, drugs and disorder. And if these repeat career crim car thefts are actually convicted, they don't have to worry about that either because under the Prime Minister's Bill C-5, which has the full support of the NDP. They have house arrest, meaning they can watch Netflix or they could play a game of Grand Theft Auto exactly. in their living room. And then they can get up whenever they, they, they say they need a few more bucks uh, to fill their pockets. They open the front door, they walk out on the street, and they steal another crime, another car. Yep. And that car then goes to the port and it's gone. Our common sense plan is very straightforward. We're going to get rid of house arrest We're going to, uh, for c career car thefts. We're going to bring jail and not bail for people who have long rap sheets. We're going to bring in a mandatory three years jail for three cars stolen. We're going to increase penalties if the stolen car was related to organized crime. Yeah. Then we're going to reinforce our ports. I'm going to cut $165 million that we're now giving to management consultants. Hmm. Because if the managers over at CBSA can't manage, they shouldn't be managing. They should be fired, right? So we'll fire the management consultants, and we'll put that, that money, $135 million of it, into hiring 75 border agents who will use 24 new scanners that are able to scan a million shipping containers every single year at our four biggest ports, so that if a stolen car is in there and there's a phony claim on the manifest, the scanner will show it. Or if someone calls saying, look out for my stolen car, the scanner will catch it. The box can be put aside, the car can be put back in the hands of the rightful owner. In other words, our common sense plan is to put boots on the ground, to scan the boxes, to put the career car thefts car thieves in jail, our common sense plan is to stop the crime and bring home safe streets. It's the common sense of the common people united for our common home.